Hi and thanks for joining me again today. It's Thursday the 17th of March and this morning I am having one of these because I'm in a bit of a rush this morning. So I'm going to have one of these, my favourite flavour and this is, two. it says 219 on there but on the app when you put it onto NutriCheck it actually says 217. So I guess I'll go with the 219 um, and I've got 200 mils of skim milk for the day for 68 calories. So yeah, that is my lunch and I will catch you all later. This is my lunch today. I've got a tin of this Aldi's butternut squash and smoked bacon soup, which is absolutely delicious. That is 240 calories. I just check it come up at 240 on um on NutriCheck but actually it's going to be 244 only four calories so I've got that and then I've got two uh, cracker breads for 40 calories 30 grams of Cathedral City lighter cheese for 99 calories and then I've got twin, no, 15 grams of caramelised onion chutney for 21 calories. So a nice big bowl of soup and then this for after. And I'm hoping I will feel fuller than yesterday. Well, that lunch was really nice, but again, it didn't fill me, so... I don't know, I must I must be like a bottomless pit or something. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to have this now, um, 443 calories. So let's hope this fills me up with uh, 25 grams of protein. Whilst Daisy was in the groomers, I popped to Aldi's and Morrison's to just do a little top-up shop. So I've got one of these cider salmons again. Uh, it's much better way of doing it price wise and getting the the little fillets and then I got some British lean diced beef a pack of the 5% burgers a medallion bacon medallions they've got these back in in Aldi's so I got two boxes of those and then I got four of the lovely cookie dough flavour protein bars I had two of these, so I just put one in the bolognese sauce. Pack of those just for the kids. And then I got these I thought would be nice, especially for my daughter. Uh, 44 calories per cake. A box of stuff in. Then I picked these up as well. I thought these would be nice for my daughter and I. 110 calories per serving. And what is the serving? 25 grams and then I picked these up as well which my husband tried the other day and said they were really nice but they're by the 100 grams I'm not sure what the calories will be on those so those so nice and then I picked these up um, as they're only 62 calories a um, what do you call them rice cake so that was Aldi's oh and I got six bottles of their dupe to pepsi max and in there i spent 44 pounds 74 pence and then this is what i got in morrison's I've got four pints of semi-skim milk for the family two packs of these jazz apples and they're at around 51 calories each they are some of my favorite tomatoes a bag of carrots some of these my husband likes for his lunchbox. They are 55 calories a slice. And I think there's oh, I have five packs of three slices. Some medium sized eggs. Um, a punnet of strawberries. I bought this for the husband's tea tomorrow. Then I bought an egg fried rice. And a roasted garlic one. And this egg fried is 195 grams for half a pouch. 
and the roasted garlic is 190 per half a pouch and then I got a pack of red peppers some of this ham for my husband's sandwiches and then that ham for the kids and I picked one of these up just to try probably share it with my daughter because it's protein bar so um, somebody mentioned these the other day on my comment to say try one of these um, so and I haven't got my glasses on but they are 198 calories each um, 15 grams of carbs but yeah and that was two pounds but the Aldi's uh, cookie dough protein bars are only one pound nine so it'll have to do it'll have to beat those I think so we'll see and then I got one of these tiger breads and then a pouch of this whole, whole grain rice and quinoa and that is half a pack, 157 calories. Then I got a loaf of bread for the husband's lunchbox and that is... Uh, 105 calories per slice some of this just to have in if my daughter and I want a little treat six squares is 120 calories and I got some of these for 126 calories although when I weighed mine the other day they it actually came up less than what they said um, and that I believe is everything I found this after, which was Aldi's, 10 cent broccoli, which I'm having with my bolognese for tea. Um, I will see what I spent. So in Morrison's, I spent £24.32. Oh, and let me show you these before I get them in the freezer. I picked the new flavour up from Aldi's, the caramel flavour. I had the last box and they are uh, 88 calories so yeah looking forward to having one of those for tea tonight i've got bolognese it's a recipe that i always use and that comes in at 203 calories and then i've got tender stem broccoli with it um which was 71 grams for 26 calories and i'm going to sprinkle 20 grams of this on top which I've got here weighed out and 20 grams of that is 80 calories so yeah my dish is a bit of a mess because uh, I had a bit of an accident <laughs> and I had to tip it out and put it back in again to weigh it so so yeah so the bolognese is 203 26 for the broccoli and 80 for the parmesan so it's been a better day today I think um yeah, so my tea was very nice. Really enjoy that bolognese, and I'm so I've you I'm used to it now, not having any spaghetti or anything with it, and just having the ten stem broccoli. That's really nice. So I've got down to have now when I film this. Um, I'm gonna have a hundred grams of strawberries for thirty calories, and then I've got an average portion down of raspberries, which is fifteen raspberries for. 15 calories so I'm going to be having that and I have got my skinny whip down for my um, evening snack and I believe yes that is that has that will be my only snack today um, you know like um, what did I have yeah I haven't had anything I didn't have anything between breakfast and lunch and nothing between lunch and tea so my skinny whip is going to be my only like little treaty snack. So I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> so I'm ending the day on 1,288, which is 137 remaining. Um, I'm a little bit over on the protein today. Uh, not protein, carbohydrates, because, because I don't know why. But anyway, um, obviously the fruit made it go up, but I'm not going to worry about it. 
it's fruit so it's fine um yeah so and uh i we've booked a really lovely place for mother's day and i and i cannot wait and on that day i think it's a week sunday isn't it i think i'm gonna have to weigh on the sunday because oh my gosh the sweets that they've got um i can't remember all the choices now but the one that was is just there for me and normally i would not bother with a sweet um but i love 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 ferrar rocher oh my gosh she's diving here oh she's had a haircut now is she gonna let me show you let me see i mean it would be better if she was stood up look at that oh she, oh she's gone do you know, she jumped off my lap like that because she can hear my husband eating a bag of crisps. And she's a little bugger when there's crisps around. <clears throat> so, um, oh yeah, so this Mother's Day lunch. Uh, it's quite it's quite an expensive place, not somewhere where I'd usually go. And on the sweet menu is a Ferraro Rocher cheesecake. <gasps> Oh my goodness. I mean there was some there was another thing I um it was between that and oh what was it? A lemon lemon with shortbread. I can't remember, but no, that for our Roche cheesecake is definitely doing it for me. And I never have a sweet when we go out. Um so yeah, I decided that on that Sunday I am gonna weigh a day early so I can can enjoy having a sweet I wouldn't want to do it and then weigh on the Monday because with me being the way I am um even if I like stuck to you know really low calories for the rest of the day I know that I would weigh heavier anyway the next day so so anyway that's a no over a week away yet isn't it so oh gosh she's got the empty crisp packet now so you're going to hear a rattle in that she just likes licking all the flavour out. So, yeah, so it's been a good day. Um, I'll just show you what I'm ending on. So my breakfast was 287. My lunch, 543. That included the yoghurt. And then my tea, 309. And then my snacks, 149. So I've got the squash, skinny whip, strawberries and raspberries. Got 137 remaining. So my protein, 107.4. Carbs are over the 100 grams. But yeah, not too bad. I did actually notice then that my salt is quite high today. Um, so I need to try and keep that lower tomorrow and drink plenty because... I am aware that I uh, carry quite a lot of fluid, so having that much salt, how much was it, is going to make a difference, I think. Um, can you hear her? Oh my gosh. It's 5.22, so a little bit too high, really. So yeah, um, so that's another day done, and I feel a bit more positive today. And, um, yeah, it's weird, isn't it, how some days you can feel more positive than others. And yesterday, just everything was annoying me. I was really, really tired. Um, and it just seemed to be that everything was getting on top of me. So, so yeah. Anyway, I'm hoping to get swimming tomorrow because I haven't been today or yesterday. And I really need to get and do some more. So I'm going to call it a day now and I will catch you all again tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go and eat my strawberries and raspberries now. So thanks for watching and thank you so much for all your comments. I really enjoy reading them. And if I haven't got back to you, I will do very, very shortly. So thanks again. Bye.